con OBJ. ¿Qué significa venir a este estadio y sacar la victoria? What does it mean to come to this stadium and come out with a victory? Yeah, I didn't understand the first part. <laughs> um... Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we have another episode of Time to Football after I was one of the few that was not placed on IR following week two. My name is Hassan Khan. I am your wonderful host. And week two of the 2019 season brought us a lot of injuries, which we wish a lot of speedy recoveries to the quarterback position. Just to name a couple, there was Ben Roethlisberger and his injured weakness. He's going to miss the entire 2019 season. Andrew Brees in his right hand. And much like Brees, I also hurt my right hand this past weekend. But that was from Carpal Tunnel after long hours in the chat room with the mothers of 12-year-old kids to talk trash on the internet. I guess you could say that my hand uh, prevented me from grasping some things. But let's continue recapping last week with the most prestigious honor on this show. The hungriest player of the week, the one that wanted it the most. Bills quarterback Josh Allen dismantled the Giants defense in a 28-14 victory, but this is what makes this victory even sweeter. Head coach of the Giants, Pat Shermer, prior to the NFL draft, said that Josh Allen has a chance to be an NFL starter in this league one day. A chance. The Bills took that as motivation. Josh Allen ended up with two touchdowns on the day. You know when a job that you apply for never returns your calls and you end up getting another job and you just kill it at the new job that you got and you hope that that past employer sees how good of a job you're doing and you're like, man, I bet they're pretty jealous right now. Well, that never happens because why would Taco Bell care about what I'm doing at Wendy's? I just got promoted, shift lead. Anyways, that's the case for Josh Allen, proving that he is a capable starter in the NFL, and that is why he is the hungriest player of the week. Speaking of the Bills, let's talk about week three, the Bengals versus the Bills. This is the first time that Andy Dalton and the Bengals are visiting Buffalo ever since two years ago when they helped them get to the NFL playoffs. That entire Bengals roster will be treated like saints in that city for what they did during the 2017 season. I'm telling you, like Buffalo fans, will offer the Bengals drinks on the house. Hopefully they don't drink before the game because that's gonna affect their performance, but let's be honest, can we really tell a difference at that point? I know, I felt bad saying that, but I've got Joe Mixon on my fantasy team and it's just like, ah, gosh, do something, you know? Oh man. A little bit of history for you. It's been an entire year since Vontae Davis retired during halftime for the Buffalo Bills during an NFL game. That sounds crazy, but that's a decision that's mostly crazy to women. For men, we kind of understand what it's like to finish during halftime. No, 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 not me, no. Let's use this awkward transition to tell you guys about Overlay DFS. This is daily fantasy football where every matchup is in a start or sit format. I had the opportunity to play this for the first time last week. Overlay hooked me up and it was so much fun. I'm definitely gonna be playing this all throughout the 2019 NFL season. But like I said, starter set format, you just guess who's gonna get more fantasy points for that week. Matchups like Stefan Diggs or Adam Thielen, Zach Ertz or Alshon Jeffrey, Sony Michelle or James White. If you're perfect in your predictions for the week, you have the opportunity to win a jackpot prize of $25,000. And if you're not perfect, all you gotta do is win within the 10% of your lobby and you can win nine times your money that you put in. And you have the opportunity to win a bonus jackpot of over $25,000. I'm going to be telling you guys about this all throughout the entire 2019 NFL season. But if you're interested, hit that link in the description, www.overlaydfs.com, and sign up. An AFC East matchup between the Jets and the Patriots, and the Jets are desperately needing a quarterback. They're down to the third string in Luke Falk, and this isn't anything against Falk. He might be really good, but if you want to make a serious run in 2019, you may want to bring in a veteran quarterback, either as a backup or could be a fill-in until Sam Darnold gets healthy for Mono. I mean, you could bring in a backup, but the market out there for veteran quarterbacks, it's pretty thin. I don't know who you'd sign. 
Oh, no, 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 no. You wouldn't want to sign him. I mean, he just wakes up at 5 a.m. every morning, works out three hours a day for five days a week in the best shape of his life. Let's not forget that he led San Francisco to a Super Bowl as well, but he doesn't have a job because he sucks. I mean, in his last year in San Francisco in 2016, 16 touchdowns to only four interceptions. That's terrible. I will never talk about politics on the show because I'm not a 2019 cancel culture celebrity giving a speech at the Oscars, but Colin Kaepernick, the last time we saw him at least, was mediocre. And should mediocrity at least give you a workout with an NFL team? Why not give him a shot? As for the Patriots, last week was the debut of Antonio Brown, and they treated it last week against the Dolphins like it was a preseason game. They targeted Brown early and often just to get him caught up to speed for the rest of the NFL season. That's kind of sad when one of the best teams in the NFL isn't treating your game seriously, and sad has been the definition for the whole entire Miami Dolphins team. And sadly, Brian Flores wants to win games, but he's just caught up in this whole management's theory of tanking for Tua. I mean, we don't know for sure if that's their motive or not, but the players and the coaches want to win, but the ownership just keeps on getting rid of all of their best players with the latest being Minka Fitzpatrick to the Pittsburgh Steelers. Things don't get easier this week as they face a very good Cowboys team, and it's looking more and more likely that they're going to be the first team on the clock in Las Vegas for the NFL Draft. But that'll wrap things up for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like this video, leave a comment down below, and subscribe to this channel so you can stay up to date when we come out with another episode every single week. And also be sure to hit me up on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. The username for all three is at Time to Football. Seriously, interact with me. Would love to hear from you guys. And again, to play daily fantasy football, go to www.overlaydfs.com. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and enjoy week three.